All right, I just wanted to do a week, first week wrap up for little Teddy. Um, it's Thursday morning, but I wanted to make sure I had a video just in case I ran out of time tomorrow. Um, this week has been used to condition him to proper response to our various markers. So we have a clicker, we have the words good and okay, and then we're starting to play around a little bit with the word no, but I want to make sure that he understands what I'm asking him before I actually start really pushing that no and verbally correcting him essentially. So, um, a marker is just a cue, word, or sound that marks a specific moment in time that I like something. Um, and for him, it's going to announce the arrival of food. So over time, once he uh, has enough opportunities of pairing the sound with the food, the, the marker takes on the value of the food. And so that way, when he shows me something that I like, I mark it, and then it brings all the good feels so that he continues to do that behavior and find that that behavior has value and continues to do so. So with a clicker, um, I'm using that mostly right now to shape new behaviors. And typically, unless it's something that there's like actual behavior issues, behavioral issues, I kind of wean it off um, so that the, you guys don't have to really worry about it just because it's one of those extra things I have to worry about and carry around. Um, but so when he hears a click, that means I like that thing right there. And then he can be done. There's nothing past that. He comes and he gets his reinforcement. Um, and then with our verbal markers, good and okay, those are going to be ones that are transferred to you. Good means I like what you did there, continue to do it, and I will repeat it over and over again um, a lot, pretty regularly in the beginning while I'm shaping the behavior so that we can build up duration. And then eventually it'll just mean, hey, I'm checking in, I like that you're doing that, continue to do that, especially if he starts to get fidgety or, or something new comes by that tempts him to come out of behavior where good is used to reward him for remaining behavior. So it's a duration marker. And then, uh, excuse me, when I say the word good, I'm bringing reward to him so that he stays in behavior. Um, and then the word okay means behavior's over, come get reinforcement from me. So uh, when I say the word okay, that means I'm moving away and he can come up out of behavior to get his reinforcement. The word no is gonna be used to uh, stop him from moving out of behavior. So if I lure him into a sit and he gets up out of the sit, I'll say the word no, put him back into his behavior. Eventually, it'll be something where I use leash pressure or whatever spatial pressure to put him back into behavior. But he's not quite there yet just because we haven't really um, worked on, uh, I don't know the word I want to use, but worked on like him having to be in any specific behavior. The bar is pretty low, we're just creating a lot of muscle memory and putting value in each individual behavior. Um, I'm just starting to actually name things as he shows consistency. I want to make sure that I'm not, uh, you know, naming something before he's quite ready and quite understanding just to avoid disassociation. So right now it's just a lot of uh, treats in my hand, luring him around. So I want his hand, his head to follow my hand and then I will kind of manipulate him into different behaviors, uh, positions. When he shows me the thing that I like, I mark either a click or a good and then pay him in some way or form, and then okay to let him come out. So the click is 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 a good and okay all in one, and then good and okay are going to be two separate things. So I'm going to kind of go through both of them just to demonstrate, and it'll be just a, a quick video. Um, I know everyone always expects this like huge thing for the first week, but the first week is really just establishing those fundamentals, and I feel like doing spending a lot of time in this part of training helps for the rest of the training because it really creates that clarity. Sir. Teddy! Yeah, yeah. yeah that's a good boy. Yeah. So I just said his name. When he ran to me, I clicked as soon as he started turning towards me, and then I presented the food. And because I want to really build a lot of enthusiasm in his recall, I like move backwards a little bit to get him to chase me and put a little bit more enthusiasm in that. Up. <laughs> All right, and then we'll show you what eventually will be his birthday.
Good. How do you get my finger? Good. And I use the opportunity uh, of payment. Good. When he looks up at me, I reward that. So I'm also kind of working on good, building up better engagement. Good. Okay. Yeah. Very good. I do make it a point to offer those markers before I uh, insinuate that I'm going to be feeding him or before I move because I want him responding to the markers and not my movement. I want my movement and my hands doing stuff to be neutral so that way when we actually get more advanced and I put him into a command, if I move around and do other things, I don't want him coming out of behavior to follow me or to respond to those things. So. too much, so I want to take baby steps. Good. Good. So I just kind of put my hand away quickly. I close my fist. Good. And just get him used to the idea. Okay. Oh, the idea of me moving my hand around doesn't necessarily mean that he has to follow. Mm -hmm. So I'm luring him into it down. Good. 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 And I just have to pay him, get him used to me moving. Good. Uh-oh. Good. For some reason, I'm supposed to be using the word no, but I always say oh, but I think it's because he's little. I just feel like that's more appropriate, right? Good. No. Good. Good. Okay. He's kind of mouthy with taking food, so another thing that I've been doing is um, being mindful of my hand. Uh, how I present food to him. So I've uh, been working on a closed fist, meaning he can't have anything. Good. And then my hand opening means he can take take treats. And that's just because when we, excuse me, when we're doing a, a little bit of learning, he kind of gets really chompy and takes takes some bites out of my hands. Good. Good. 